chat gpt has completely changed the way people create solutions and develop code however most software engineers and devops engineer are still not using chat gpt to improve their work and make their life easy that is why today i am creating this video to show you five different ways how you can use chat gpt as a devops engineer to increase productivity and quality of your work every day before we go ahead and start with the video and learn how you can use ChatGPT as a DevOps engineer, I want you to please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to CloudChamp. I post videos on AWS Cloud and DevOps tools like Terraform, Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes. So please subscribe to CloudChamp and we are very close to 4000 subscribers. So please show some love and support. Let's start with learning ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is my secret weapon and I use it every day. You can see so many tabs open here. And you can also use it too in this video. I'm going to show you five ways on how ChatGPT can make your life easy and increase your productivity. So ChatGPT is my secret weapon when it comes to creating projects from scratch because with a single prompt, you can create solutions. So let's see how you can create solutions using ChatGPT. Imagine you want to deploy an application on AWS and for that you need to create a VPC with public, private, subnets, internet gateway, NAT gateway and you can use ChatGPT uh, and ask ChatGPT to do that with just a single prompt. Let me show you an example. Create a Terraform code with VPC, having public and private subnet. Attach internet gateway and NAT gateway to the subnets. Also launch an instance inside the public subnet. So if I do this, it should start creating the solution for me and giving me the code. So let's see what ChatGPT has to offer. And you can see it has started writing the code. We have providers, I can see the provider here. VPC is also being created. So you can see how amazing ChatGPT is and how easy it is to create solutions using ChatGPT with writing a single prompt. If you were to write this code on your own, you would take around 20 to 10 to 20 minutes maximum. And using ChatGPT, you can create this with just a single prompt. Uh, so here it gives you the example of how, what this code does and what it is about. So I actually copied this code and ran this in my VS code. And if I show you, it act, it worked for me. You can see seven resources being created. All of these are here. And I used the exact same code that was given by ChatGPT. So you can use ChatGPT to create solutions. That was the first way of how you can use ChatGPT. Not only this, along with Terraform, you can also create stuff for Ansible playbooks. So let's see, create Ansible playbook to set up LAMP on this instance. So LAMP stands for Linux Apache MySQL PHP MyAdmin. So, and we are going to ask ChatGPT to create Ansible playbook to install LAMP on this instance being created. So you can see it has started writing the playbook which has all the steps. Using ChatGPT, we, it saves us time with like, with a single prompt you get what you want and it saves you time. Not only does it save time, but it also gives you the best solution you can use for to get the job done. So here you can see it has also explained you what this Ansible playbook is going to do. So I hope you have now understood how to use ChatGPT to create solutions. Let's go to the second feature of how you can use ChatGPT for research and POCs. Being a DevOps engineer, you need to create POCs and better solutions for your applications. So making decisions on how to implement something on an application can be very tough when you have different options to compare for. My basic idea is to create proof of concepts for every solution and then compare it. But with ChatGPT, it's, this process makes very, very easy. Let me show you an example. Let's consider we have a media sharing application and we want to deploy it on AWS. So we need to see what is the best instance type for this media sharing application. So let's ask ChatGPT to give us the best solution of how we can deploy this Node.js media sharing application. So I'm going to write a prompt and ask ChatGPT for the best solution. So we have asked ChatGPT which instance type is better for my media sharing Node.js app serving 10,000 users daily. Solution should be highly scalable and available. So we want the ChatGPT to give us the best solution. Along with this, it should be highly scalable and available. So let's see what ChatGPT has to offer. So you can see it start giving us the response. It says, uh, it depends on specific requirements, which is true, but to ensure high availability, I would recommend to go with load balancer, which is the best option for handling traffic on different servers. You can use auto scaling for automatically increasing and decreasing the number of instances. That is correct. 
You can also use Amazon EFS, which is used by multiple instances at the same time. Additionally, you can consider using Amazon ECS, the container service, uh, which is used for Docker containers. And you can go with all these different instance type. If you have more compute intensive workload, you can go with this. So ChatGPT has given us different options and it has given us the idea as well. You can ask more prompts to get the better solution or to get the exact solution. So now with the help of ChatGPT, I can directly ask for its expert opinion and for which option is best for my application. And not only this, it saves my time in decision making and my effort. So which lets me focus on the application itself. This, so this is how you can use ChatGPT for research, POCs and for comparing solutions. Let's go ahead and see how you can use ChatGPT for understanding codes and logs. Being a DevOps engineer, you have to constantly check code. You, ha you have to check how your application is working, check the logs of your Docker container, your Kubernetes pods, all of these. And this can be complex sometimes. Even might know the struggle of, underst of understanding a code that is not written by you or by someone else, which is not in correct format. But no problem, you can use ChatGPT to help you understand code logs or logs as well. Let me show you an example. Let's ask ChatGPT to help us explain a block of code. It will tell us everything what this code is going to do along with the explanation. So let's ask ChatGPT to explain us a block of code that is trying to do something. So I have a code here and I want ChatGPT to explain us what this code is going to do. So ChatGPT should have start explaining us. Let's see what ChatGPT tells. So it says this code block is for rotating a secret stored in AWS Secrets Manager, which is true. Uh, it start explaining the function, which is get secret. This function is to retrieve the secret from Secrets Manager. Then this is to re rotate the function. Uh, you can see ChatGPT has given us brief information about what it does, which, he which helps us understand the code in simple language. And then you can use this code to create your own solutions. So this is the best part. I can I use this every day to understand logs, to understand codes, which can be complex sometimes. So this is how you can use ChatGPT to understand code. Let's also use an example to explain Docker container logs. So I have, I have logs here for Docker container and let's ask ChatGPT to explain what this lines of logs are being, are showing. I'm going to copy this and ask ChatGPT to explain that to us. And I've entered the logs and ChatGPT started giving us the information about this. So it says these log, these logs are from Gunnicon. Uh, which is a Python web server and these logs shows that the server is starting up listening on port 80 so everything is working good and this can help you understand what how your application is behaving and what should be done. So this is how you can use ChatGPT to create to understand code and logs. Let's go ahead and see how we can use ChatGPT to automate the repetitive tasks that we do every day. Let's see how we can use ChatGPT to automate some of the manual tasks. For example, let's say we have a we have a requirement where you need to take MySQL database backup every day and store it on S3. So our DevOps engineer was using doing this manually, but we can use ChatGPT to automate this stuff. So let's ask ChatGPT to create a bash script to automate this process. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a bash script to take MySQL database daily and save it on S3 bucket. So let's see if ChatGPT can create a bash script for this or not. So here's a bash script that can be used for daily backup of MySQL and save it to S3. You can see it has started writing the bash script along with every parameter, what should be into your S3 bucket path, everything is there. And you can see it is using MySQL dump. So ChatGPT can also help you automate stuff, which is the main motive of a DevOps engineer to automate everything. So rather than going and doing manually, manual things, you can use ChatGPT to automate your daily task, like taking backups, or taking web backups to rotate your password, everything that you're doing manually right now can be automated with the help of chat GPT. So that's, the, that's how you can use chat GPT for uh, automating stuff. Let's see how we can use chat GPT for creating better documentation. So we had an example of media sharing application. Let's say we want to create a documentation so that our users can help use the app. So let's ask chat GPT to create a documentation for our media sharing application. Let me write a prompt for that. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a good document so that everyone uh, can use our app easily. So let's see what ChatGPT has to offer. It has started writing documentation as you can see here. 
So welcome to the documentation for our media sharing application. It gives us all the information about the features. So our application has user registration and login. To get started, you need to uh, click the sign up button. So which is actually, it looks so real to me. I'm so excited of how ChatGPT can help us. So I want you to please follow all these steps like better and become a good DevOps engineer. I hope this was very informative and it makes you realize that ChatGPT can help us become more productive and create more high quality. So let me know if you think ChatGPT can save us or take our jobs in the comment section. And I hope this was informative. If you like the video, if you have understood it, and if you think this was interesting, please like this video, subscribe to CloudChamp and see you in the next video. Thank you.